hey, guess what? We didn't do a Super Show stream today. And what did that mean? I mean, the entire gaming industry went woohoo and got angry today. Everybody's angry today. So first off, why is Sony angry? Not only are they still mad about the stupid Blizzard thing, now they're angry because Starfield is going to be a Xbox and PC exclusive. Uh, two things. Did we not think that was gonna happen? Hmm. Also, um, Microsoft, if you're trying to convince the regulators that you're not trying to withhold crap from Sony, uh, withholding the biggest release from Bethesda, the last studio you purchased. It was the last one, remember? You did the thing, you bought studio the last one maybe not withholding its largest release since you acquired them from sony would help your argument with all these different trade commissions just a thought i'm available we'll consult 200 dollars an hour plus a free xbox why is microsoft mad because the uk's uh competition and markets authority who has regulatory guidance in the uk is doing some math saying that microsoft would actually make money by withholding call of duty from sony Microsoft's like, uh, your math is wrong. It's wrong. You're comparing five years to one year and a thing, and no. Here's the thing. Microsoft and Sony, both of them, are not using the real reasons why this is such a big deal. We were talking to people about this earlier today. Again, you want to come to the store, gamers7pnw.com. You can come argue with me about this. I invite you. Here's the deal, right? It's Ikea. That's why, okay? Ikea and Madden. Why do they release a new Madden every year? Why does Ikea release new crap every year? Because every year there's a new crop of college kids wandering off to their dorms and doing the thing. And every year, especially in America, there's a whole crop of 18 year old boys who get their first dorm room and mom and dad buy them a console. And what games do they want? Madden, Call of Duty. It's the normies. It's not the deep side of the gaming industry. It's 18 year old kids who are off to college for the first time and their dad's gonna buy them a console. It's like a congratulations, you got into college gift. Okay, that's the market they're trying to make sure that they suck in. So are they worried about converting people from PlayStation to Microsoft? No, they're worried about the cycling consumers that buy the same crap every year. And specifically the new consumers that enter into their market, the new kids turning 18 every single year. Okay, and let's not even forget about the guys stuck in the barracks in the military who are also buying consoles to play Call of Duty and Madden all the time because they don't have anything else to do because they're in the middle of nowhere. And so it's drinking or Call of Duty. That's it. That's the reason Microsoft's trying to pull this off. That's the reason the thing is. And all the people they're giving these 10 year deals to, look who they're giving it to. Uh, as I think it was you, Pete, you said it was GamerRant put it, two streaming services that no one <laughs> has ever heard of that they had to go look up. Nintendo, who doesn't care about bringing AAA titles to their primary console. if. If Microsoft gives them a three-year-old remastered version of Call of Duty, whatever, Nintendo doesn't give a crap. And I think Nintendo signed the deal just to be like, ha ha, Sony, you're funny. Because <laughs> they're just messing with Sony. They don't actually care. They're in a different market entirely than Xbox and Sony. They don't care. And NVIDIA, who's using the NVIDIA streaming service? I know it exists. I get, I see it when I bring it my GeForce. Do you know anybody, Pete, that uses that? No. <laughs> no. Okay. So of course it's had to do with it because it doesn't matter. They're minuscule parts of the market. Everybody's just, just making crap up now. Okay. It's just, this is the funniest thing ever. It's great. I love it. Uh, and next uh, in our hot piece of garbage, uh, Epic Games has been fined $245 million from microtransactioning children. No, they weren't buying children, nor were they selling <laughs> children for microtransactions. No, what they were doing is they were using uh, sneaky marketing to get people to buy packages and groups when they thought they were buying one thing. And a lot of that targeted toward children. <gasps> okay, protect the children, save the children. Here's the thing, it's not about saving the children. It's about saving your bank account. Okay, I have an eight year old and she has access to electronic devices. We have to have lockdowns on all that crap. <laughs> Otherwise she would spend thousands of dollars in skins and packages if you didn't stop her, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's why she needs approval, okay? So you know what, Fortnite, Epic, you can afford the $245 million. I'm sure it's gonna go somewhere equally as useless as it was sitting in your bank accounts. So, you know, in the end, um, you'll find a new way to market to children. Somebody else will get that money, it won't go anywhere useful, and uh, you'll still be rich, so congratulations.
Anyway, that's our rundown for today. Everybody's mad. It's a hot, steamy pile of garbage. The economy might collapse in a week. <laughs> Who knows? But hey, in the meantime, come on in here. Let's play some Smash Brothers. We've got Smash Brothers tournaments every Friday, mainly every Wednesday. So come in, hang out, play some video games, play some magic, tabletop, all that stuff. Gamersheavenpnw.com. We love you and goodbye. <laughs>